Hello everyone, this is Dr. Jawad. I'm going to answer an email question and that is, Doc, I have bile salt supplements, but when should I not take it? When do I take it and when especially do I not? But before I answer that question, if you're new to my channel, thank you for tuning in. If you haven't done so already, it'll take you two seconds. Just hit the subscribe button down below and next hit the bell notification. In addition, if you're on Facebook, thank you very much. If you like this stuff, please share with a friend and hit the like button. I always appreciate growing an audience. And if you want to talk to me one-on-one -on -one or Zoom, just follow the link down below. I'll be more than happy to talk to you. 15-minute consultation. Email my office, talk to Diane, and we can set something up. Okay, I got, a, I got an email and it's, when should I not take the bile salt supplement? Now, one thing is, if you do have your gallbladder removed, I always recommend taking bile salts because you need to take that for the rest of your life because you're still producing the bile, but the function of the gallbladder, the function of the gallbladder is we produce the bile in the liver, but we store and concentrate it in the gallbladder. And when you eat fatty foods, what it does, it squeezes out to help break it down and absorb the fats effectively. But if you don't have a gallbladder, it's like a leaky faucet that just keeps on dripping. So your liver, your liver is a huge organ, over 300 functions of the body. Again, it produces the bile, it stores and concentrates in the gallbladder. And there's a tubular system here that when you, if you have your gallbladder removed, what they do, they may leave those tubes open too much. So there's a possibility of getting too much bile down in the small intestines. Now bile, it's made the liver store and concentrated in the, in the gallbladder by 20 times, and we produce about one quart a day. And we recycle about 90% of the bile. So the, the body loves to recycle. So what happens is the benefits of bile. It helps eliminate, eliminate cholesterol and toxic compounds. It fights infectious agents. It helps kill the bad bacteria. It's a nice balancing act. In addition, it promotes gallbladder and liver function. Helps dissolve gallstones. Yes, helps dissolve gallstones. What happens when we have gallstones? It's because we're eating a low-fat diet. Could be one of the causes. Now, remember, the gallbladder, when you eat healthy fats, like avocados, olive oils, things like that, fish, it squeezes bile to be released in the small intestines. So if you're not having a good, so you've got a low-fat diet, you're not making it work helps digest and absorption of fats. In addition, helps balance bacteria in the gut, the bad bacteria and the good bacteria. Helps control blood sugar levels. Yes, if you're breaking down these foods appropriately, then the blood sugar levels are not spiking. In addition, it triggers the release of glutathione. Glutathione, made in the liver, most powerful antioxidant. So now, why would you be deficient in, in bile? Well, the number one reason, the number one reason why you may be deficient in bile is because you had your gallbladder removed. However, you may have a low fat diet. We need fat to produce bile. Or you're making, you may be taking too many omega-6 fatty acids. Omega-6 fatty acids are pro-inflammatory. Maybe you're just causing too much inflammation in the liver. You're taking in too much sugar and grains. You're having increased insulin spikes. Inflammation, it will decrease the production of bile. In addition, you may be eating too much estrogenic foods or and or you may be taking birth control. Now, when it comes to bile and estrogen, it's like a teeter-totter. If you're taking in too much estrogen, whether it be foods or birth control, you're, you're making the bile boggy. So one thing I always want to make sure is what's your diet like? Are you on birth control? This is one of the reasons why your, your bile is boggy and you're not breaking down the nutrients effectively. In addition, you may have non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Yeah, you don't drink, but you're, what you're doing is that you're with too much fat, the hose and ding-dongs is causing the liver to be inflamed, so it's not producing the bile needed. In addition, you may be stressed out. Increased cortisol. You may be on a round of prednisone. All that will, dec will affect the liver's production of bile. So you may be bile deficient. One thing is when not to take the bile salts. 
when not to take the vial salts. Remember, if you have your gallbladder removed, you gotta take it. But what if you, but when not is a good time. One, diarrhea. One of the functions of bile is to help lubricate the colon. So the bile salts help retain the fluid in the colon and helps lubricate the colon. So what happens if you're having diarrhea, all it's gonna do is gonna make the diarrhea worse. So kind of back off, watch the diet, and wait till you get more regular and then maybe you want to increase the, the bile salts or add in. Hyperthyroid, not hypo, hyper. Why? Because the liver and the bile, we produce the thyroid hormone and we convert it from inactive T4 to active T3, 60% of it's in the liver. Now what's happening is that, what's going to do, it's going to increase that conversion. So you may have the hyperthyroid symptoms times 10. So watch out. Bile malabsorption. You're, you're just not absorbing, okay, in the intestines. You may have a condition like Crohn's. You may have celiac disease. You may have SIBO. By taking bile salts, it will make it worse. So back off. However, what if you have a bile salt deficiency due to certain conditions like cirrhosis, liver failure, failure cholestasis, which is cholestasis is basically a blockage. Yes, take bile salts. Now, when to take it? I always recommend don't take it if you have like an apple or, you know, a banana. Take it when you're having the big meals, breakfast, lunch, dinner. And you want to take one or two capsules before you eat because what you want to do, you want to help the body prepare it for the food delivery. Now, what if you're taking too much, what, what if you're producing too much bile? What if you had your gallbladder removed and they left these tubes open too wide so too much bile is leaking down the small intestines? Well, your primary doc could write your prescription. Okay, it's a bile acid binder. It helps kind of bind it up. The problem is, the flip side is, you may become a def deficient in bile acid. So talk with your primary doc. What I recommend when I, talk to my, when I work with my patients, if that's the case, then I tell them, Lower the amount of fats that you put that you take in your body because you want to lower those dietary fats. Remember, it's dietary fat that releases bile. So you want to lower the dietary fats in your diet. So I hope this helps. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. And if you have any suggestions for future topics, I'm always open. Thank you for watching. Take care.